For one month, we had one student. <laughs> the dual badge yeah, every single no. day, yeah. You just keep going. Yeah. And you keep going. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here in New York City for the first time. After here, I'm gonna compete in Panamas in, in Florida, right? In Orlando. Stay in his house with my brother, Fox. Uh, my brother, I met him a long time ago. Two or three years ago? Uh, 2021. 2021. I'm in black belt, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, I'm black belt. I met him my before team, Cicero Costa, Ipiranga in the coaching. Yeah, I trained with him. Uh, he's very, very good Jiu Jitsu. My brother Fox, how you all start in Jiu Jitsu? Um, before training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I used to wrestle a little bit. I wrestled at middle high school, um, my alma mater here in Brooklyn. And during that time, it was a two year period. I was actually the number two guy in the borough of Brooklyn for wrestling. No, um, that, was, that was as far as my wrestling competition went, you know, high school wrestling. And then one year uh, of college wrestling, which did mm -hmm. not uh, produce anything further because I got a, I got a really bad injury in my first year of college wrestling. And after that, I, I needed to do something to keep me active and mm -hmm. I started training Jiu-Jitsu. No, oh, it's great. Like, he's very good at title. Whoa, American Nationals, Panamis, uh, Brazil is in Brazil. I can't really recall how many fights I had, uh -huh. but I know I had a good seating because for two years straight, I was the um, number one at the brown belt, mm -hmm. uh, master one oh, weight great. category. So I typically has, I have a buy, you know, which means usually three to four matches. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, all competition experiences, as you already know, is very difficult. Yes, for There's sure. no easy competition. Too hard, right? There's no yeah. easy competition. Um, Brasilia was, was more challenging for the simple fact that mm -hmm. the environment is different um, that was the most intense environment i've competed in mm -hmm. um, the noise the crowd the heat everything was different um, and for that reason it required a lot of focus a lot of concentration mm -hmm. um, you don't speak the language um, so considering all the external occurrences, it was definitely the, the hardest competition for me. No, you know? no. Um, also considering it's not a big time difference, but still it's a different country yeah. that I had to acclimate to. I had to adjust myself to. No, I was great. Um, so Brazilians is, is, as far as competition experience is concerned in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the best and the hardest I've had. Because too hard, right? It's so very hard. It doesn't matter if uh, adult is too hard for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, but in Mars, they have a high, co it's high uh, comparator too, right? That's true. High comparator That's in true. our best. That's our true. best because Brazil is more difficult to compare over the years, right? In Korea, like in IBGGF. Yeah. And uh, because you went to Brazil, and uh, sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, your opinion, the difference between Jiu Jitsu in Brazil for in New, in New York or California, in America? Um, in all of America? I mean, I, I. Your opinion? I think here, the we are, I guess you can say we are a little mm -hmm. bit, a little bit more technical. A little bit more. Uh, it's not a big gap. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's not, you know, the, the the Brazilians are not here and we're not here. We're just slightly more technical, slightly. Um, I think we've made a lot of uh, innovations. We've progressed a lot, especially with the Nogi, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but with that being said, 
jiu-jitsu in Brazil is very, very, very strong. Yes, a lot sure. of a lot of good, a lot of good guys and girls, a lot of good yeah. athletes. Um, it's not that uh -huh. that much different. I think we're maybe slightly a little bit more technical, um, maybe because we have a little bit more access to resources, you know, video resources. Um, I don't know. Um, competition mm -hmm. uh, access, you know, all, a lot of IBGF opens, yeah. a lot of local tournaments. So we have more access, right? Yeah. So that helps. We a lot of opportunity, access. right? A lot of yeah. more, a little bit more opportunity. Yeah, for sure. More for opportunity sure. for people coming to Brazil, different countries live here, right? For sure. Like you open on day one gym, for sure. sports, for like sure. you, for sure. yeah, open your beautiful gym here. He broke me, right? Yeah. In the ghetto. <laughs> yeah. <It's> great. <laughs> now, guys, my brother Fox introduced, right? Uh, his beautiful academy in, in Brooklyn. What address? We academy? are located on mm -hmm, 1661 mm -hmm. Nostrand Avenue. This is the uh, Flatbush section of Brooklyn, New York. Um, we are very close to the number two or the number five train. Um, we opened this academy last year, August 15th, 2023. Um, we are making a lot of progress. Uh, this is the only Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy in the Flatbush area. So it's important that we um, were able to, to build it and provide the community the access that it did not have uh, prior to us coming here. Um, this is our mat space. Um, we are constantly building, adding new um, new things. Uh, the wall mats we just added recently and we still have to do a little bit more to make sure all the walls are covered. Um, the Fuji mats, very good. And the plan is to maybe extend it. Yeah, high quality, right? Yeah, for the math, for sure, quality. yeah. So we want to extend it a little bit more for, you know, to give our students more math space. We have a little bit more students now. Um, this is our bench area. Uh, you can put your shoes underneath. Uh, people push your shoes yeah. under, right? Your, student, your students, example, for next class, when you have a the class, you teach a class, example, with geese or advantage, right, adults, or the group, you can send, here, send down here, right, for relax. So our schedule, we have classes uh -huh. seven days a week. Um, gi no gi? Gi no gi. Oh, amazing. Yes, we have five no gi classes on the schedule, mm -hmm. which is a lot. Uh, most people, uh, a lot of schools don't do too much no gi. But we have five Nogi classes and then uh, six. Uh, no, we have more than six. We have five Nogi classes and then the rest is Gi. Our Nogi classes or uh, Tuesday night, uh, six to seven, and then 7.50 to 8.30. And then Thursday night, six to seven, 7.50 to 8.30. And of course, Saturday, which is 12.15 to 1.30, followed by open mat. Um, so we are doing our part as far as helping, you know, add some value to the Nogi Jiu Jitsu scene. So for that reason, we thought it would be important to have more, to have a good amount of Nogi training into our um, calendar, into our curriculum. Yeah, it's great. It's very good, my friend. Congratulations for a new space because you told me before, right? Uh, only seven months, right? Yes. Yeah, you open your gym. Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's very near, yeah. We, we, we <laughs> open for seven months. It's great, um, yeah. The community has been great as far as um, being open minded and to uh, delving in and, and exploring the art of Jiu Jitsu. It's not easy to have someone brand new walk in here and have them immediately enjoy the sport so there is a learning curve we have to slowly get them into it you yeah. know make sure they don't get hurt make sure they enjoy it 
and then they keep coming back, they keep coming back. And then eventually they stay. It's a process for the yeah, new people, for it's sure. a process. Yeah, because this is like your house, right? You need to put your 100% aside. 100%. Like when you're focusing, example, words like Panams, Europeans, you put the same intensity, right? Absolutely, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's not easy. This is, uh, it's running a business. Yeah. You know, um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu academies are businesses. So yeah. you, have to, you have to treat it like that. Yeah. You have to make sure your, your students, uh, who are also your clientele, you have to make sure they're happy. Um, you have to make sure that they feel welcome, they feel safe. Um, you have to make sure you communicate with your students, with the parents who have their kids here. So there's a lot of work, you know. Uh, there's a lot of administrative work that goes into it. Um, advertisement, uh, website, Google, social media. Yeah. So it's a lot of work, you know, payments. Have you, you have you friends for uh, like your students? People for help you with this yes, um, because a lot of responsibility, right? Absolutely, Social media, absolutely, teach a class, absolutely. clean the academy. Yeah. Absolutely, my uh, my uh, my girlfriend. She helps a lot. Mm, it's great. Uh, she helps a lot. She teach with the kids. Oh, you know, it's great. She help a lot with the kids, and then uh, Professor Isaiah, he's the uh, the head black belt instructor here. He runs the kids program. Um, he teaches Shorokan Karate and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So he teaches the kids uh, six days a week, which is yeah. a lot of dedication from him because he has to go to work, his regular job, and then come here and teach the kids. So it's a lot of dedication. So I have a good team. You know, the team is good, they're dedicated. What name your academy? Uh, What's the name? P P yeah, Pillar Jiu Jitsu. Oh, Pillar Jiu Jitsu. Oh, Pillar amazing. Jiu -Jitsu. Pillar. Like Pilar? Yeah, Pilar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Strong. Yeah, 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 strong. Yeah, strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, since, uh, since my brother, since uh, when you start to open, right? Your academy, for sure. Uh, every single day, every week, every month, Jiu Jitsu, your studies grow up, right? Like kids, adults, gi uh, on the both. Uh, what do you feel uh, about? Uh, about this because when you see the since the first day right you introduce the mat the first kids like uh, open inside your academy uh, what you feel uh, you feel your feeling yeah uh, proud uh, you feel very proud because you know you when you have a, a vision you have a dream and then that dream becomes a reality. It's important to take notes, to pay attention to how you react to your emotions. So I remember the first day we opened up, I feel very proud, you know? Um, even though we had one, one student for one month, for an entire month, we had just one student, is the 10 year old boy. You know, and he's been with us since, since, since we opened up. And there were days I would come here and sit, in that town I would sit and then there would be no one here, with just me. You know, for one month, we had one student. Uh, for a month? For a month. <laughs> you do a batch every yeah, single no. day, yeah. You just keep going. Yeah. You keep going. You know, you keep going. You keep going. Oh um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a testament to, to, to the dedication of the person who, who opens a business. Whatever the business may be, it does not necessarily have to be a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Uh, just know when you start, it takes time. It takes time and dedication. Um, doing the small things correctly. You know, the small things we may, which may not seem significant. Um, when you do not have a business, or very significant when you do. Smiling, um, communicating with people, making sure people feel comfortable, making sure people feel welcome. All these little things that you don't think about too much when you are serving 
uh, customer base when you are serving people becomes very important. Yes, okay. for sure. Yeah, it's very good, my br uh, my brother. Congratulates. It's great experience, right? For all peoples, when you watch this this video, you need to put you 100% every single day. You need to like put a job every day, like uh, smile, uh, smile every single day when your kids out, like uh, like father or mom, because mm -hmm. it's not only teach class inside. It's very important, like a black belt, right? inside and outside the best because it's so important like uh, you teach you the best class yes. every single day it's nice uh, academy hey look at my brother hey about this focus <laughs> yes yeah yes. i know this is uh, this is your brand right yes, focus this is this is what i've worked ah. on for many years uh -huh. you know this is this is it good quality yourself you created focus yes, yes sir oh great you know, Good quality. Three years or three or more? More than three years. Oh, that's yeah, great. More than <laughs> three years. And then this yeah, is a beer. very simple. Uh -huh. uh, this is for, this is our academy but, rash guard. But it's high quality. Oh, high it's quality. very, very good quality. Okay. This is the train. This is the train. Oh, this is, is the train. Yeah, this, oh, is, this is the station here. Yeah, very amazing. Yeah. So this is our app. This is where we have. You take yeah. the two or five train to Beverly Road, this is us. Yeah, that's so great. We'll keep it very simple, you know? Clean, simple. Oh, Avenida Paulista? Avenida Tell me about Paulista. this. Avenida Paulista. Semazi, San Paulo, I know. <laughs> Avenida Paulista. Avenida Paulista. <laughs> uh, I think on Sundays they usually close it down. Uh -huh. they, on Sundays they close down Avenida Paulista. And then there's a lot of bicycles, people are selling, a lot of vendors, people are having fun. This Avenida Paulista is kind of like the 6th um, uh -huh. Avenue uh -huh. of Sao Paulo. Here we have 6th Avenue, which is a very busy street, with street vendors sometimes, and stuff like that. So I really enjoy when I go to Brazil to like uh, walk around Avenida Paulista. And then on Avenida Paulista is one of my favorite art museums. Maspia, right? Maspia, in Paulista, yes. yeah. This is, this is a beautiful place. And when you go, this is a secret. When you go uh, from New York or any other part of the world, if you have a student ID, you go, you get a discount. Yeah. Discount? Yeah, you oh, get a discount. Great. So when you go to Maspia, uh -huh. if you have a student ID, you uh -huh. give it to them. It doesn't matter where it's from, it doesn't have to be a Brazilian student ID, and then you get a discount, and it's really, really nice. Um, they have an amazing cafe inside. Yeah, it's very good coffee, then, right? And then the design is just amazing. It's a beautiful museum. So if you go to Brazil, you're in Sao Paulo, you enjoy art. You enjoy, you, you enjoy doing life in Sao Paulo? Yeah. In my opinion, Sao Paulo is very similar for compared to New York, right? Big. Because a lot of metro, yeah. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can go for... Uh, whatever one, right? You would like it easy. Uh, in São Paulo, it's so big, right? But when I say here in in Brooklyn, example, in New Jersey, mm -hmm. or different city, right part here in New York, uh, in my opinion, I think you don't need necessarily buy one car, right? Uh, here in New York City? Example, if you did you go to every day uh, to Manhattan? Oh, you just take the train. Easy, right? Yeah, you just take the train. The, the beautiful thing here is the the trains here are not. They How do be, they system by train? I would, I pay for one month or uh, one it de day. No, it depends. You have options. Mm -hmm. You can pay. The best option, I think, would be for you is to buy uh, weekly. You'd pay thirty two dollars, and then you buy the weekly metro. Ah, oh, great. Okay, uh, you would use it for one week. Use the pass. It's unlimited. And then you use the path for one week. And then after that, for another week, you buy another one. And then you use that. Um, but on the weekend, I think I was telling you this. The, the service on the weekends, there, sometimes there are a lot of changes. So you have to be paying attention, reading the signs, reading the notices, and listening to the announcement. Um, you can get lost on the weekends yeah. if... If the service changed, sometimes you are on the, for example, you're on the two train, mm -hmm. 
Oh, and now it becomes the five train. And now you're going to come with completely different. So you have to pay attention to these things. Yeah. It happens a lot. It's for sure. Have, yeah. a lot of, have a lot of people in the street because it's a big city, right? Yes. New York, the city is not as lit. Yeah, yeah. It's a 24-hour city. In Times Square, so many, so many people, right? And it's also like 24 hours. Oh, I like it a lot too. Oh, beautiful look, yes. The larger sheets. And boxing, having boxing here too? Yeah. Oh, like, great. Yeah, no only yeah, jiu-jitsu? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do boxing. Oh, amazing. Box. Yeah. That's yeah, because I see. Mm -hmm. Great. Boxing. We do uh, fitness boxing. Yeah. yeah These guys from Mike Tyson, right? Yes. <laughs> ah, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson de Brooklyn. Yeah. Ah, você conhece ele onde de Brooklyn? Huh? Ele, Mike Tyson onde yeah, de Brooklyn? Yeah, for right? sure. He's born, raised born here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's amazing. Brooklyn. <laughs> so my brother is amazing. Congratulations for your beautiful right academy. For sure, after a couple of months, like weekends, for sure. A lot of students like kids, adults, because you do you do the best job, right? You do 100% here in New York City. And for sure, God bless you, always alive, my brother. You yeah, to, I like it a lot. Thank you. You have to put a lot of effort into it. Yeah. You have to do 2,000%, not 100. Uh, because, you know, there are so many options. You have to have something that differentiates you from everybody else. You know, whatever that may be, you have to find it. Yeah. There are a lot of jiu-jitsu schools. Now you have to give whoever walks in here the reason to stay with you. Um, that's, that would be my only recommendation. Yeah. Give it 2,000%. Same way you would do in competition. Yeah, amazing. For finish the video, say, Kriya na Kriyada. Kriya na Kriyada. BJJ Kriya. BJJ Kriya. Kriya não é criado. Kriya. Não é criado. Não é criado. Oh, that's my brother. <laughs> thank you, my brother. Thank you for our right? You are a great man. I never forget this. You bring me in airport, right? Like yesterday, too far. When I arrive in my plan, you go there, you bring me, help me a lot. Now I stay with you here in your academy, in your house, uh, on the stair, right? <laughs> up the stair, how can I say it's like? Uh, oh, by show, downstairs. No, down, yeah, so downstairs. So I'm very happy for the first time. I stay here for much, uh, more time, like seven days, 18 days before I'm going to compete in PNMs, a special day special time with you my brother for sure thank you for you are very good yeah <laughs> you're welcome yeah <laughs> thank you